Also happening this weekend up in Queensland is the AFL draft game for the Queenslanders and whoever else wants to come along, including Amy Legault, one of the Canadians. Yes, she's playing in another draft game. I managed to catch up with Emma Zilke, who will be the captain of the Lions squad that will be taking on the Sun squad at Metricon Stadium, 4.40pm uh, this Saturday afternoon. Now, Emma, just before we talk about the game, uh, uh, you last uh, year played for the Melbourne Demons. Uh, can you tell us what that experience was like pulling on the Demons jumper and running out in Etihad Stadium? Indescribable, really. Um, pretty, like, just being in the, at the camp from the first day, um, I was, I was got to admit, I was a nervous wreck. Um, but the girls quickly got around me and um, and everyone seemed to pull together quite quite well and, and we'd get to know each other over the next few days. Um, but, yeah, there's, there's nothing like the feeling of actually walking onto the field in New Guernsey. Um, that, that was just unreal and, and um, it was one of the, it was It's definitely my footy highlight. Uh, and in your mind, uh, does it feel a little bit intimidating? Do you feel like you need to step up a notch or two when you're playing against, I guess, uh, the Victorian and, and WA footballers in your side? Yeah, definitely. Like, the, you just... You, you can just... Um, I mean, vibe off them. They, they, they set the standard early at training, your first training session. So automatically you lift your standard as you should. And um, and they, they just go about their, their footy so professional on field and off field. So um, it definitely gave me the more more motivation to, um, to play well and, and try and put my body on the line for all of those girls. So, um, yeah, definitely um, intimidating though. But they, they are down-to-earth girl, so it, was, it wasn't it was wasn't too bad. Now, before we head into uh, this draft game at Metricon Stadium, ha- have you noticed since that game and uh, leading into this draft game, so we're talking of a, a, an off-season of uh, six or seven months, have you noticed a difference between, not yourself, but, but the other girls as well, the other clubs, a, a difference in professionalism and preparation to how they go about their footy? Yeah, definitely. Um, it, we, we had a pre-season cup uh, a few weeks ago, and um, you can tell this year is going to be so competitive in Queensland in our Boffle League. Um, each team they've recruited well. Um, teams have lost players, but they seem to be like there's just a vibe around the the Quaffle this year. Um, everyone seems a lot more competitive uh, and really, really keen to step it up another notch. Um, everyone's training standards, like I know at Kuperu where I play, our training standards have had to lift again because obviously. We've won two in a row now, so we're the hunted at the moment. So we know that, and um, and we've we've had to really lift our standards. So I'm assuming uh, the rest of the clubs have as well. Now, what's the lead up been like to this uh, draft game that's being played at Metricon Stadium on Saturday night? Have you had a, much of a chance to have a few training sessions and for the girls to get together? Because I believe you're being broken into Lions and Suns groups, respectively. Yeah, correct. Um, well, we've still been training as one whole, um, so just the State Academy training. Um, we haven't really been split into our teams. We had our last session last night, um, and, which was an awesome hit out. We were, we were just as one team, though. Um, but but definitely everyone's vibe. Like, it was probably the best session we've done all year. Everyone seems to be up and about, and just there's just real excitement around the game. Um and it's not just a, it's not just an anything game. It, it's a lot of girls want to be drafted, and they're going to put everything into it. They've been working up to this game, um, and and to have it at an actual AFL stadium is an, another incentive to to really try your best and play your best that you can. And I guess an extra carrot dangling there as well, uh, a chance to represent Queensland against Tasmania in a couple of months. Yeah, exactly. So if you're not looking to get drafted or you do miss out on the draft, it's still basically a selection game for our Queensland women's state team. So either way, um, everyone's going to be looking to have a real crack at, and try the, the best they possibly can um, because it's a huge incentive yeah, to, to either get drafted or to be picked for the state team because we do have a lot of girls that um, are, are going to miss out of the state team because there's just so much talent to choose from at the moment which is something we haven't really had the um, advantage of in the past couple of years but last year and this year it's looking like 
um, one of the strongest squads we could possibly put out on the park, which is great for our for our academy and for our state. And without putting on the moz too much, uh, from what you've seen out there on the training track, which look like some of the girls that could be having a blinder on Saturday? Yeah, um, well, the Suns girls, they have a lot of... Um, They've got a lot of speed and, and smaller smaller girls, so a lot of midfielders and small forwards. But um, definitely, I'll be I'll be taking notice of Jordy Jordy Zanchetta. She's she's our a, a main ball winner at um, her club at Yoronga. She she gets in and out and she's uses the ball so well. She she's kind of like a Scott Pendlebury if you if you want to put a name on. She just looks like she's got so much more time than everyone else. So. Um, definitely we'll have to lock down on her if, if, if we want to try and get rid of her impact of the game um, because she can really impact games. And uh, also I've, I've noticed that uh, a girl that played in the Victorian draft game and is coming up to play in the Queensland draft game as well, um, the, the Canadian, Amy Lego has come up. Yeah, so she came to the squad um, on, on last night. She was first first time we've all met her and she trained well, um, trained with us, so... Yeah, she's going to slot into the line lineup, which is good. She looks like she's um, raring to go, pretty fit, and um, yeah, so she's going to be a good um, addition to the Lions lineup. And what about for yourself, the uh, honour of the captaincy of the uh, Lions lineup? Yeah, um, pretty. Yeah, to, obviously, it's an honour to, to be captain of any team. Um, so, and, and I work for the Brisbane Lions, so it's it's a little bit more for me as well. So. Um, I, I've also got my employees and my club that I'm trying to lead um, out on there and I want to show them the best example that I can possibly do and, and just uh, show the way, I guess. But, yeah, it's a huge honour to be named captain of, of the team. And we thank Emma Zilke very much for her time and wish her all the very best in the uh, Queensland All-Stars draft game.